in intersection of graphs, we will determine where the graphs of two functions meet. In other words, what are the coordinates of the point or points where the functions are equal? For this example, we will find the points at which a line and a parabola meet. These are the two functions. f of x equals x squared plus x minus 5. And g of x equals negative 1 half x plus 3. First, we'll plot the two functions to see what they look like. The parabola, being the squared function, has the following table. When x equals negative 4, the function is negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 minus 5 equals 7. When x is negative 3, the value of the function is 1. At negative 2 is negative 3. At negative 1 is negative 5. At 0 is negative 5. At 1 is negative 3. At 2 is 1 and at 3 is 7. We draw the curve of the parabola. Now to the line. Because two points are enough to plot a line, we'll use the x and y intercepts only. When x is 0, the function is 3. And when the function is 0, the value of x is 0 equals negative 1 half x plus 3. Add 1 half x to both sides and we get 1 half x equals 3. Multiply both sides by 2, and the value of x is 2 times 3 equals 6. We plot these two values and draw the line. OK, the parabola and the line seem to intersect at about negative 4, 5, and 2, 2. However, if we want a more precise answer, the graphs don't help, and we need to solve both equations simultaneously. This means, of course, we must find something in common to proceed. Looking at both equations and using y for the function of x, we see that y is common to both of them, as y equals x squared plus x minus 5, and y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. So, if y equals y, then by substitution, x squared plus x minus 5 equals negative 1 half x plus 3. Combining like terms, we add 1 half x to both sides and subtract 3 from both sides, giving us now the quadratic equation x squared plus 1.5x minus 8 equals 0. All we have to do now to find the intersecting point or points is to factor the trinomial on the left. Because finding two numbers whose product is negative 8 and whose difference is 1.5 by simple factoring is difficult and lengthy, we turn to the quadratic formula to find the intersecting points. If you want to review the quadratic formula, please visit YouTube and write on the top line, Jerry Lovada, quadratic formula, or use the following URL. According to the formula and our quadratic equation, the value of A is 1. The value of b is 1.5, and the value of c is negative 8. Substituting a, b, and c for our values, we multiply, square, add, solve the radical, add and subtract, divide, and the values of x are 2.18 and negative 3.68. We now go back to the original equations and substitute x values to find the corresponding values for y. We'll use the linear equation because it is easier. y equals negative x over 2 plus 3. When x is 2.18, negative 2.18 over 2 is negative 1.09. We add 3 and y is 1.91. First set of coordinate is 2.18, 1.91. Now to find the second value of y. When x is negative 3.68, negative times negative is positive. So 3.68 divided by 2 equals 1.84. Plus 3 equals 4.84. The second set of coordinate is negative 3.68, 4. 84.